During 2011 through early 2012, proposed bills SOPA and PIPA were hotly debated in the networked public sphere in the form of thousands of articles written and exchanged online. Even with bipartisan support, both SOPA and PIPA were met with controversy. Some saw the proposed legislation as a means to end online piracy by stopping rogue actors. Others saw them as the potential end to the free internet. Ultimately, these proposed bills were dampened by an unprecedented public outcry carried out online. The following will explain three key moments of the debate through the mapping of the networked public sphere. On May 12, 2011, Senator Patrick Leahy introduced PIPA, the Protect Intellectual Property Act. PIPA was later accompanied in the House by Representative Lamar Smith's SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, introduced on October 26, 2011. Both proposed legislations had bipartisan support, but as explanations of SOPA and PIPA circulated online, concerns were voiced by tech media, scholars, and the public. These dissenting voices gained traction in multiple ways, including the development of action-oriented websites specifically dedicated to defeating SOPA and PIPA. One result of these online action sites was the creation of American Censorship Day, held on November 16, 2011. On this day, internet users were prompted by many sites to contact their representatives in protest of the proposed legislation. This map, and the ones that follow, use circles to show how many links to online sources of information occur on a weekly basis. The larger the circle, the more links to that source. During the week of November 16, 2011, many sites promoted American Censorship Day and got attention for it. However, action-oriented sites were not the only response from the online community. In late December 2011, Reddit user Self Prodigy issued a rallying cry to move domains from GoDaddy to other registrars in reaction to the company's support of SOPA. The call circulated the social news site and gained momentum, resulting in a significant number of links to Reddit, as well as the creation of websites specifically dedicated to this boycott effort. Within hours, GoDaddy reversed its support of SOPA and publicized its new position. However, its previous position did not come without consequences, with loss of customers and negative press. From a single user, anti-SOPA sentiments spread through the sphere and had impact on businesses' bottom lines. On January 18, 2012, Wikipedia users organized a blackout day, shutting down access to the English-language Wikipedia site for 12 hours. Thousands of other websites also participated in the blackout, and many different sources were a part of the conversation, shown by the large number of circles on this map. On Wikipedia and other sites, a link to contact information for legislators encouraged action similar to that of American Censorship Day. On January 20th, 2012, a mere eight days after the blackout, the Senate vote on PIPA was postponed. These three cases illuminate how the network public sphere can influence policy formation. Political and social debates about the legislation of intellectual property continue. The patterns of interaction, web-based calls to action, and the wide variety of participant voices that make up the network public sphere may also continue to contribute to that deliberation.